welcome to the self-proclaimed New Zealand's best kept secret. I heard about this course and checked out the videos that you're seeing before you and that was enough for me to decide I'm going to drive four hours from Auckland to the course. Let's find out if this really is New Zealand's best kept secret. All right, we're here today on a Lynx course in Ohope or Ohope. Yeah, but yeah, look at this lovely Lynx style course. Perfect winter day in New Zealand. Been a while since done a video. Let's uh, get out there and try and, well, let's try and break a hundred today, I think is the goal. Seems only right that we rate the course today. So we're going to be rating it on condition, cost and enjoyment. Oh, a bit high. Oh yes, look at this, not a cloud in the sky as well. There we go, tee box. I'm up here. 90 to the front. A little short, find out. Yeah, what a view on the first hole. Look at that. Gone a little long. I'm trying to think if I can get a nice 60 degree edit. That'll do. There we go. Start things off with an effort for par. Okay, we've not practiced on the greens because we just got straight out of here. But it did start going uh, right to left. Oh wow, that snap, that moved loads. That's right though, the nice tap in bogey to start. We will take that. The views from this course are just outrageous. Look at that. What a lovely day. Winter as well. Okay, eight iron at this one. 150 to the center. Come round, come round. Just push it off to the right. And stick with the wedge for now. Thought that was gonna bank loads to the right. <laughs> Probably went too much up the bank. Oh, what a part. I thought you hit that soft as well. Even though they're wet, they look quick. Oh. oh, well, back to back. Tap in bogeys, we'll take that. Off to a fairly decent start. What do you guys reckon the cost of playing a round round here is? Uh, so stroke hole one, I think I'm taking an iron here. Oh, did not hit that well at all. It's gone nowhere, but we are in the fairway. I'm just gonna go with an eight iron and then give me a wedge on. Don't wanna go in one of these nasty bunkers. Oh, went a little off to the right, but we're gonna try and play smart today where we can. So, yep, lined up just down here and now can assess it a little bit better. All right, 60 degree at this one to get up onto this green. It's quite a way up there. Heard the green, whether it stayed on or not. Don't know. Absolutely nailed it. We'll take that. And again, just show off the view whilst we're here. Bloody hell. Yeah, I think just slightly left. Oh, what a part. Oh. Course management gets the par. Yes, boys. Shit, uh, seven iron as well. Yeah, par three. Showing 198 meters to the front, downhill. All right, I'm gonna go with a seven iron because I think short is safer and it's downhill and it's gonna bounce on this hard ground. Oh, get away with it. Oh yeah, it's bounced right as well. Bit of a bank to work with. And it's getting right at the pin. Oh, oh. Yeah, take that. Oh, just about got it there. Yeah, it slowed up a lot on the uphill, but yeah, because it's short par five, that uh, it's only like 180 to the right, so I'm gonna take six iron.
try and stick to smart play all the way around rather than go for this. I'm just going to take an eight iron, leave myself a little wedge in. That's the plan. Oh, I chunked it. Hmm, that miss doesn't come out very often. Straight though, <laughs> just straight. Gonna blame that on the focus purely on the backswing, trying to stop closing the face on my backswing. Uh, not looking back at the footage, so I'm just hoping that it is more than likely practice swing will be fine and uh, I'll close it on the actual one. But you know, got to go through these changes and you have shots like that happen. Main thing, not in that bunker. Oh no, killed the bird. Might have to take a second ball there. That might have gone into the, the OB. Better strike that one. Ah! <laughs> Hopefully that slowed up. It just, I did fizz it quite fast. Um, if it stayed in, then we're all good. If not, I'm not in a great situation. But when the view's like this, you cannot complain. Oof! All good. You know, not the best position, but it's all right. Roll on. Here we go with the putter and the logic being bad putt's going to be not too far off a good chip. Yep, take that. Hoping like most of the bank's gone out of it here. Yeah, it was going, but rescued the bogey, I think. Not a pretty bogey, but bogey nonetheless. 285, but hazard off to the right. Just going to play a seven iron down the left is the, the plan. Oh well, finned it. It's all right, it's all right, we'll get there. Don't think I've hit one good shot with the seven iron. Yeah, again, play smart all the way through. Wedges are going pretty solid. It's not really changing anything there, but the full swing with the irons and the woods, well, just full swing in general, I'm going for a bit of a swing change, so. Yeah, just need to stay focused. It'll come, it'll come. Keep balls in play, we'll get the score. Needs to sit. Oh, I should be good. Well short. Lay up and chip on. On the green. Again, that's where we want to be. Got a banana holder for the day here. Okay, uphill. Oh, I slowed up. Uphill Jew strikes again. Nice. Uh, a little nervy, but we made it. A couple of bad shots sneaking in, but look at the views. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the six iron. Uh, don't trust the five wood with that tree there. Ah, not hit it well, but get over that bank. Not the prettiest of connections once more, but again, just Trying to play smart, hopefully we'll start striping them again soon. But yeah, don't even have the driver in the bag today. <laughs> Just the five wood and the free hybrid. And yeah, again, not showing you the view in a little while, but pristine condition. Should miss this tree fairly comfortably. Yep, perfect. Ah. Did go for the left side, but that's a little too left. On the green though, and see someone's come short already. <laughs> like the good thing about the dew. Oh, I thought it was going to slow because that guy went short. I was like, oh, I'll just give it a little bit more than I think. Yeah. Oh, that's so soft as well. And I'll just get that out of your way. Right? There's the first free part of the round, it's all good. Make mistakes. Bring out the five wood again. I think there's a bit of space off to the right. Oh, is there space off to the left? Par five, as long as we can find it, we should be able to work with that. Yep, unlucky. Not much I can do here, really. Chunked it a little bit, but 
Should be alright. Oh. Having a bit of a spell at the moment, but be all good. Haven't lost it and we're up there for fourth shot. So five chipping on, up and down required really. All right, nothing silly now. Oh, I fend it. It's got to hit the pin. Oh no, fuck. That's it, ah. Oh, just go with the 60 degree, it's been my good club so far. Nah, fuck. Yeah, what did we say earlier? A bad putt is going to be the same as a good chip. And that's why a bad chip is going to be fucking nightmare. All right, come on, six iron. Let's recover from that bad hole. Put it behind us. Oh, that's gone out to the right. Okay, 135 to the center. Go left center of the green, hopefully. Oh, took far too much off it and then chunked it. Tempted to try and abandon focusing on the backswing, but I know I need to work on it. A little toe down seven iron here. Hopefully hit it into the bank. Like that. Oh, oh, <laughs> I got the wedge in hand and also the putter. I think we'll go with what I said. Bad putt is going to be the same as a good chip from here. Massively downhill. Yeah, like I said, good chip might have gone worse there. <laughs> Needed one of those to go just to get me back on track. Great putt. There you go. Yeah, I need to work on that mentality of a bad putt is the same as a good chip in certain situations, especially when the green rolls away for you like that. But yeah, there's the view again. Cracker of a day. So 10 over through the opening nine, I'll take that. If you want to support the channel and enable me to go film more courses, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and we'll head back to the course. Oh wait, as you know, it's out of bounds to the left. Put this club away. Oh, stinger, fucking hell. Can't find the swing now. Seven iron. It's not gonna be in a nice position for my feet, that's for certain. Could be good. Oh, huge bounce off to the left. Uh, I'm gonna do just a toe down pitching wedge. Would it come more left there? Ah, oh, dear. Should have gone with the wedge on the green, technically. Yeah, it's got there. Oh, fuck's sake. Can't be missing those boys. Cannot be missing those. <sighs> Stinker of a hole. Oh. Look at that spherical bunker. And unfortunately, dice just come short and it's rolled down. I've actually got quite lucky there. <laughs> we'll take it. Feels that like it should go right to left, but. Uh, no, left to right, sorry. Oh, I've been far too cautious there. Come on, boys. Ah. Oh. Yeah, did change. Oh well, another bogey. Right, let's see if we can uh, get some swings together. Oh, fuck's sake, man. What the hell is that? That is so shit. Oh, dear. Chunk the ground with the five wood. Fucking hell. Take the eight iron. Good thing is I'm in the middle of the fairway. Uh, just in case someone comes, I've left the camera over there. Should be right, hopefully. 
72 to centre. Ah, uh, short right, I think. Might have got there. A little chip just over there, rolled down to the right of the. If we'd come more right, needed to land it sooner, right? It must level out. Okay, come on, need to whip out another one putt here. Damn it. Close. Oh God. Oh fuck. That's gonna be probably hard to find. Ah, the swing chain is killing me. I want to just go back to just hitting it, but got to persevere. Hopefully, we'll find it, but I'm not too sure. Can't see anything here. People behind as well. Oh, no. I got it. Just try and get it out. Oh. Sit, hopefully. What a par this would be if this somehow goes in. It's not the worst. Oh, fucking hell, man. Jesus. <sighs> Thought I was going to get away with a bogey. Oh, fucking hell. That is, that's the most rage I've experienced in a while there, right? Oh, I mean, what the fuck happened there? Oh, dear. Right, okay. It's just, uh, if I can see it at least. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fucking hell. I rarely rage, but fuck me, that was... <laughs> that, that one cut deep. <laughs> literally, when I play the other day, like, literally two days ago, yeah. and I was puring the hell out of that club, and now, fucking hell. <sighs> Let's hope the swing settles in soon, because it's starting to kill me. Oh, fucking hell, man. All right, calm down. <laughs> All right, so for context, what I'm trying to do is on the backswing, I'm trying to bring it up there and then like that. Because my normal swing is like this and like that and then I come there. There we go, there we go. Let's start hitting them like that for the rest of the round. And again, what a lovely course. <laughs> 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 <sighs> okay, <laughs> lift the heads up and get back into it. I just explained what I was doing and it worked. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to go like that, <laughs> not like that. Oh, fucking hell. Sit. Thought I was going to trick the system there. Huh? Um, unfortunately not. So well, that's my fifth shot. This is up and down for double, maybe? Need to let the anger go, lad, that's what I did. And then I fucked this next shot, so. It's not foolproof. Uh, actually realized that was me. This is my fifth shot here, so. Yeah, so wedges, as you can see, they seem to be all right. <laughs> just tee shot and, well now just irons from the deck as well, which is unfortunate. Uh, so two putt for double, because it has rolled out quite a bit, but that was expected to be fair. Start going there, and I think it's a bit of a double breaker here. Oh. <laughs> Said I could have it, but confidence. <laughs> Said I had it, it's all good. It's all good, when someone gives it to you, can't take it back. 
<laughs> Obviously, I would have naturally lined that one up and made it, so it is what it is. <laughs> Again, look at that nice blue water. Nice bunker there. Oh. There you go, give you a nice view to make up for the bad golf. All right, we're cycling down to the free hybrid now. Finally, one down the middle. <laughs> yeah, if you could leave a sympathy like, much appreciated. Yeah, no, I'm just swinging seven iron. Should be pretty comfortable distance in. Oh, chunk the fuck out of it. Seven iron should be a nice comfortable distance in for another seven iron. Was not what I was intending. Oh, might be all right, but. Do not recommend trying to do swing changes on the course. But thankfully, lovely day. Could have been horrific if it was raining. Okay, well, you know, head up. Let's, uh, that was my third shot. So maybe get up and down, get on the par train. Could be the play. Slightly concerning. I can't see my ball. I thought it came up short, but maybe it rolled off the back. What? Have a, have a little look. No. <laughs> Where the hell did it go? Oh, that's a bit aggressive. It's a good hit, but what was the distance of the dog leg? Well, thankfully he didn't lose this one, but it may as well have. Don't have much in. Should probably take the drop. All right, move that back. All right, 60 degrees. Should be able to get it out. All right, well, it's out. I'm not seeing why it's lying and yet to decide whether it's better than the drop though. Oh no. It's not going to. Sit. Stay, go mark it, go mark it. <laughs> no! No! Oh, should have marked it. It stayed still for a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, it did literally stay still for a little bit. That should have been on the green, that's criminal. Um, what way is this going? Oh. Ah, dear. Tough game is golf, eh? Just to add to the views, that little island in the background is actually Bakari, or White Island, New Zealand's most active cone volcano. And crazy to think I was actually on it at one point. Uh, they've obviously stopped doing tours now following the tragedy. But yeah, interesting fact. Anyway, back to the golf. Could be good. Oh, I've rolled at the back of the green. I'm going to take it though. Nice to get a good strike on the cards again. Look at this work. <laughs> I don't even pay him. And that's why. <laughs> Look at that, the waves just breaking over there. And then our lovely hole over here. Get the duck poop out of the way. Oh, that one was soft. That one squished on the club. Nothing to lose here, so let's try and get a birdie. Nah, it's gone too low. Should be pretty straight, I think. Yeah, pa. <laughs> du, 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 du. Step in his line. <laughs> All right, going on to the 18th. Ah, oh, what a nice course, though, man. If I had my swing today, that would have been luxurious, perfect day. Unfortunately, took a long time to find my swing and never really found it. 
wedges were pretty solid. See if we can end the 18 into wind. Uh, par four, 305 meters. Take the hybrid and then go from there. One last scenic pan before we go. Oh, a little bit better, but not much. That's not a bad shot to hit. <laughs> I mean, shot to end on, but... <laughs> oh, that's golf, you know. <laughs> Keeps you coming back. I right, call it birdie to finish then, do we? Yeah. And this is golf in a nutshell. Finish on the bird. <laughs> Free putt bogey. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. I played mine. I played. What a lovely day. Yeah. <laughs> so I ended up finishing on 91. Pretty good score considering there was a couple of uh, hiccups, should we say. So do we think this is New Zealand's best kept secret? I've not played enough to confirm it, but it's definitely up there as one of my favorite courses so far. Course condition was nine out of 10 cost 10 out of 10 it costs 65 new zealand dollars for 18 holes that is absolute daylight robbery for what you get yeah and then overall enjoyment 10 out of 10 great day and love the course lots of challenges and the views were just sensational highly recommend it to anyone that can get out there and i will be back